just because something is legal don't make it right and by that same token just because something is illegal don't make it wrong hello all welcome to tactical safety today we're going to talk about an incident that happened uh, recently, I believe it was in California, 911 call of a man threatening people with a brick. And he had a, he had a brick in one hand and a beer in the other. The lady called the cops on because he was threatening her, so she did right to call 911. But the incident unfolded and he ended up throwing a brick at one of the officers and got shot and killed as a result. Check out this video and then we're going to talk about a few things. Also, if you feel like this information is useful, if you enjoy these videos, we would greatly appreciate if you would donate. The cash app is at the bottom of the screen. It's tactical safety, all one word, dollar sign tactical safety on cash app. We would greatly appreciate anything you can donate. Let me get additional units. Subject is walking away. Come here. Look, it's just the beer, bro. Come here. You don't want to make this worse than it already is. Put the brick down. Put the brick down. Get on the ground, drop it. Drop the brick. Drop the brick. Do it now. Now, it said in the news story that um, the man died at the hospital a short time later. Now, this incident right here, I already realized there's going to be people, plenty of people on both sides of the argument. There's going to be people that say, yeah, he deserved to get shot. There's going to be other people that say, no, he shouldn't have gotten shot. So, a brick is a deadly weapon. That was a large rock, actually. It was a large rock, and that is a deadly weapon. You get hit in the head or the face with that, um, you could easily be killed by that. So... They rolled up on him and got really close to him, which I believe was a mistake. Looking at it from a law enforcement standpoint, um, they could have been a little bit further away because if I had rolled up on that scene, I would have um, I would have parked just out of throwing distance of that rock. So I know a rock that big, he probably could have thrown it maybe effectively maybe 15 feet, 15, maybe 18 feet or something like that. I'm going to be just outside that range because even if he can throw it that far i've got plenty of time to move out of the way and i'd rather that rock hit my squad car than me and if i can if i can um engage a situation like that and preserve life instead of taking a life then i'm gonna go that route because it just works out better for everyone now mental illness is running rampant these days and there's not enough uh, mental health facilities to uh, to help people and this is evidence of it right here it's perfectly legal for an officer to shoot someone who is deemed a deadly threat like that because, like I said, a rock is a deadly weapon. But just because something is legal, don't make it right. And by that same token, just because something is illegal, don't make it wrong. For example, a lot of ridiculous gun laws in some of these places, like Illinois, for example, with these um, crazy assault weapons bans, what they call assault weapons, how they're trying to ban them, and the fact that... Um, that there's not even 1% compliance rate. I love it. Keep it up, people of Illinois. I'm so glad I don't live there anymore. But if I was still living there, hey, I would have my ARs and everything too, and I wouldn't register them either. So don't even register that stuff because that's a ridiculous, unconstitutional law. But we've gotten off topic brief briefly, so um, I'm going to get back to this story. So you notice how they pulled up really close on them, and it looked like that first shot, it looked like the shot might have hit that, that rock. Not 100% sure. I've looked at it probably about 20 times, and I can't quite tell if it hit that, that rock, but it might have. And the news story has said that the young man was shot once in the torso and ended up dying, which is unfortunate because, yeah, they could have done things different, but nobody's going to get in trouble for this because of the fact that he had a deadly weapon, i.e. the rock. Officers, when you encounter people who are mentally ill, just assess the situation and don't be so quick to roll right up on the person like that. 
look at it from a distance as long as there's not other people who are in danger for that person then you can hang back a little bit i would have tased them and then ran up on them and handcuffed them after that immediately so remember to stay armed stay vigilant and stay tactical we'll see you next time